Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to do an update on what is new at Navionics. Um, just recently at the Classic, they ended up announcing how they're packaging. They're, uh, they're kind of combining some of the, the mapping cards that they have to make things a lot easier, and which is great news because it, you know in, in recent years, it, it became very difficult for the average angler to figure out which card to buy because there's a lot of different options. So I got a lot of questions on which card do I need to buy for, for this situation. And, uh, and so now they've made it a lot easier. They've got two cards that you can choose from that pretty much cover all the bases. And uh, the first one is Navionics Plus, which really hasn't changed that much. That card has the entire US and Canada on it. Uh, it's preloaded with the, the base mapping, the nautical chart data. And then you can go online and download the high definition fishing charts, the sonar charts, uh, for the specific lakes or regions that you want more detail, that one foot contours and all that. And then of course you get community edits and uh, and you get that one year uh, free subscription so you get daily updates uh, whenever you want it. Uh, and then the other card, this is really the biggest change from the, the previous you know set of cards that they offered. The, the other card that they have is called Platinum Plus now. Now Platinum Plus, used to be just their saltwater card. So it was a regional card that was just for saltwater fishing. And then you also had the uh, comparable version of the Platinum Plus saltwater card uh, that was called the Hot Maps Platinum card, and that was just for freshwater. So you had these two different cards. Both of them had those advanced features such as you know the overlays like relief shading, which is my favorite, sonar imagery, sonar chart shading, and also satellite imaging. And uh, and you had to buy one or the other. If you're fishing saltwater, you had to have the Platinum Plus. If you fish freshwater, it was Hot Maps Platinum. All right, so now they combine both of those cards into one card that they're calling Platinum Plus. So fresh and saltwater, it's a regional card so you select the card based on the region that you're fishing. Uh, it's got all those advanced overlay features. It's got a preloaded sonar chart uh, data on there so you can you can get all that that uh, real fine one foot contour detail. And, uh, and yeah, so it's gonna be a great value for you guys that are fishing both fresh and salt water. Uh, and it makes it a whole lot easier uh, to choose the right card. Uh, so now that we've got the card, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go on Online. We're going to plug it in into the, the chart installer on Navionics.com and we're going to go ahead and update the card and then we're going to choose the, the type of, of overlay that we want on this card. Again, we got sonar chart shading, you got sonar imagery, and my favorite, relief shading. So let's get on the computer, do a little bit of work, and get this card ready. All right, so now we're back at home. I've got my computer right in front of me and we've got the Platinum Plus card. What we're gonna do is we're going to use the chart installer program that you can download from uh, Navionics.com if you haven't done that already. Uh, and I've got plenty of videos that show that process, but we're gonna use the chart installer to update this card. Even though it's brand new, I wanna make sure that it's got the freshest data possible on this card. And then we're gonna select the overlay that we want to use with this card. So let's get started. All we have to do, we've already got the chart installer up here, and we're just gonna plug in my card. And it will read it and it'll come up pretty soon here. All right, so I just have to log in, so I'm gonna do that real quick. All right, so we signed in, and now we are going to select the unit that we're going, or the brand that we're gonna plug this card into. We're gonna plug this into our Lawrence. We're gonna go down to find the HDS Live, and then we're gonna select the actual model. All right, now here we go. All right, so here we've got um, we've got the different options here. So we're going to click on, we've already got nautical charts uh, clicked on, sonar charts. Uh, we're also going to click on community edits. Those are all the things that we're going to update. And then we go down to the overlays here. Of course, you got 
Um, the satellite overlay with sonar chart shading, relief shading, and sonar imagery. I want to do relief shading because that's that's generally my favorite overall. I love that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this box and pull it over the lake that we're interested in. And we're going to do Dale Hollow. Just for fun. You got to zoom in here. I like picking just, you know, instead of picking regions, I like picking actual lakes just to make sure that I'm not, you know, eating up too much data. So we'll pick, you know, uh, Dale Hollow there. And all we're gonna have to do from here is click start. And it's gonna take a while, you know, depending on your, your internet connection, it's gonna, it might take, um, you know, if you have real slow internet, it may take a while. But um, once we're done, we will have an updated card that has the, uh, the uh, overlay that I want uh, for that lake. So we're just going to wait a little bit and we'll come back. All right. So the card is finished. It's updated and it's got the relief shading on there. So let's go to the boat and plug it in. All right. So now we're back in the shop. We're in the boat and we're ready to plug in our new platinum plus card that we just updated. So it's got fresh data on there. And we've also selected the lake in this instance, Dale hollow that we want that advanced overlay, which we selected relief shading. Cause that's my favorite. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the Lawrence live that I've got at my console. And so for the Lawrence live, we actually uh, have to take the micro SD card out of the adapter here. So the bigger SD card is actually just an adapter for the micro SD that's on the back here. Let's see if I could do it one handed. I bet we can, there we go. So there's a micro SD. There's some units such as the Humminbird Solixes and, and some Humminbird units that require the, the bigger card, um, but Lawrence does the micro SD. So let's go ahead and plug this baby in. And it shouldn't take long for the Lawrence to recognize it. There we go. We got some awesome contours. You can see I was running all over tarnation out here on uh, Dale Hollow. Um, so uh, we've got just this the sonar chart, you know, uh, uh, contours on there. No shading quite yet um, as far as the uh, the overlay. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go to menu is we're gonna go to more options, and then we are going to go to chart options. And I'll show you real quick, if sonar chart isn't on yet, um, you just hit that to turn it on. But in this case, it's already on. Uh, and then to turn on our overlay, our relief shading, we're gonna go to this right here, over to photo overlay, and go to full. And there you go. You got that uh, that relief shading that I think does a really good job of telling you exactly, uh, you know, how the the contours, um, you know, the contours of a lake actually lay out. Uh, you can see all the little creek channels, all the little drains, all kinds of stuff. It's a really really cool uh, layer. It's my favorite. Uh, one thing that you can do is you can change the transparency so you can see less of the relief shading. I really like to keep it at like the three or four range. Um, the, the less transparency you have, the less contours you're gonna see. So I still wanna see some contours. So usually three or four is where I like to keep it. Um, all right, guys, so that is the Platinum Plus card from Navionics. Uh, we've, we've learned how to uh, update it, how to choose the overlay feature we want, and also how to plug it into the unit and turn those features on. And uh, so hopefully this video helps. I think it's really awesome that Navionics took those two freshwater and saltwater versions of, of the, the, the kind of the same card, and they combined it into one that is now Navionics Plus. I think it makes it a whole lot easier for me to explain and a whole lot easier for you guys to just go out there and be able to make the right choice right off the bat. So let me know what you think about the brand new Platinum Plus card in the comments below. And if you have any questions about this card, make sure you comment below. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. I'm going to see you out on the water.